Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. So on today's reading, we are going to see what is the message from your spirit guides, okay? That is going to be the topic for today. And as usual, we are going to have three different piles. I'm going to put the piles on the screen in a minute. So please make your selection with your intuition and I will see you on your reading. And by the way, if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can directly book it from my website, which you can find in the description box and also you can purchase my oracle decks from my website or from my Etsy store that you can again find it in the description box okay so thank you please make your selection now and I will see you soon Hello Pile 1, so let's find out what is the message that your spirit guides want to tell you right now, okay? What is your message? Can you please show me what is Pile 1's message from their spirit guides, please? Pile 1, what's their message? We have a page of pentacles. What is their message, please? We have the full... We have the Empress. We have Death. Can I just tell one more card, please? Thank you. And we have a King of Swords. And I am seeing Seven of Pentacles here. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this one on the side. But I feel like, okay, pile one, I feel like you have been waiting to, especially like for pile one, I'm getting more like your spirits are gu guides are trying to tell you that you need a transformation in your job, in your career. Um, and this is really going to be crucial for you, okay? With these seven of pentacles, I am seeing that maybe you have been trying different jobs, like different ways. And um, maybe, um, you know, like different things to kind of improve your finances. And you're like, okay, I did this, I did that, I did that, and I'm just waiting now, you know. I'm seeing you staying in this um, a bit stagnant energy about your career, okay. And I feel like with this page of pentacles and the fool, your spirit guides want to tell you that you need to start a new journey, okay. This new journey is going to bring you more happiness. And I feel like whatever you are doing right now, I don't think that you are necessarily feeling yourself in this job, okay? Because your spirit guides are trying to tell you, if you take this opportunity with this page of pentacles, which is a new job offer or a new career path with this fool, you are going to feel yourself. You are going to feel very, you know, like successful, very, um, like this, this new job is kind of like it, it matches with your personality and your lifestyle and your energy more. Especially if you are very feminine, I think this job is going to be something very feminine. Like this could be maybe um, something creative that you need to take on, something very um, maybe unusual, okay? And your spirit cards are telling you that with this death card, you need transformation in your life. You need transformation. And also I'm hearing like, and, and we also have King of Swords. I think you need to approach things in a more rational way. You need to um, sometimes, and I'm not saying leave your intuition and everything on the side, but sometimes you may need to approach things in a more, more rational way, like more with your mind rather than your feelings, because feelings can be deceitful sometimes, okay? So let's see, what is Pile One's message, please, from their spirit guides? We have Ten of Cups. We have the Moon. What is their message, please? We have the Lovers in the Reverse. I feel like maybe for this new job or this new career, I feel like you may need to leave someone or something behind, okay? Because we have 10 of cups, 
and it's, it's with Page of Pentacles. I feel like this offer, and we also have Lovers in the Reverse and the Empress. I feel like, and oh, oh my god, I haven't seen this. <laughs> you have three of ones. So I feel like you may need to maybe travel to another city or another place for this new opportunity. And with this moon card, I'm seeing you being um, indecisive and you don't want to maybe leave your current place your current job maybe you're a bit scared and i know you know like getting into this full energy can be scary okay because as you can see he's gonna jump from there there's dog they are trying to warn them warn him but you know he's just gonna do it anyways but if you look from the positive side fool can be a really good energy because they are very, um, you know, um, ambitious and they want to try new things. They want to jump into new adventures. And I think your spirit guides are trying to motivate you to transform your life into a different direction. Okay. And we have three of pentacles. I feel like with this new opportunity, you may get an offer from an air sign. Okay. This person could be Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. Or maybe you may be... Um, working with an air sign and i feel like this new person that you're going to work with is going to be very um smart and i feel like your spirit guides are telling you if you take this opportunity this is going to help you grow and also you're going to learn more things okay let's see but i feel like you may be a bit um like i don't want to leave my family i don't like you know leaving my city living my home but you need to your spirit guides are telling you you need to be more adventurous okay so let's see what is pile one's message from their spirit guides please what is pile one's message from their spirit guides <coughs> we have clarity so maybe you're going to receive a clarity about this new offer very soon, okay? And your spirit guides are trying to tell you, maybe your mind is a bit foggy right now. Like I said, I feel like you are a bit indecisive, but I feel like for pile one, I feel like I'm here like you need to go to like near sun, sorry, um, near water okay this could be sea or river or wherever it is around sunset okay and i feel like it is going to give you more clarity let's see what is pile one's message from their spirit guide please these cars are huge but i like them yeah we have grieving okay I feel like we also have lovers in the reverse. The cards are telling you, and also your spirit guides, I feel like especially if you had a breakup with someone, the, the your spirit guides, the cards are telling you like, it's okay to grieve, you know, it is fine. Like, obviously you are going to have these um, process where you um, have these feeling of sadness, grief, and maybe anger. But then, as you can see, there's brightness here, okay? And there's a butterfly. So. I think just give yourself some time okay and don't feel like you don't need to grieve about this person I don't know especially if you if the person that you broke up is very bad don't feel sorry don't feel like you know why am I feeling bad about this terrible person no it's okay the cards are telling you you need to you need to have this grief moment to heal so what is pile one's message from their spirit guides please and we have forgiveness your spirit guys spirit guys are trying to tell you you need to forgive someone in your life this could be about someone from your family because i'm just i'm just seeing the son of cups again you may need to forgive someone from your family to move on okay and if you don't forgive them i think you are just going to make things harder for yourself and i always say like um i know forgiving someone is you know i think it's hard i don't know even me i think i struggle with that but i feel like once you achieve once you succeed forgiveness 
I think you go. So I want to use this deck which I have created and it's called Self Love Journey Oracle and you can find it on my website and also on my Etsy store and currently this is on 50% sale because I only have few left so I just decided to make a sale okay so yeah so I want to see what is your message from your spirit guys like what do you need to work on what 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 kind of affirmations maybe you should tell to yourself we have three and I was gonna take three great <laughs> okay so first of all we have i accept challenges i embrace every challenge as an opportunity to improve myself challenges help me to see my full potential and help me rise to the next level so if you feel like the situation is a bit challenging for you like i said because i feel like you are a bit indecisive about taking this opportunity to change your career change your job but the cards are telling you you need to accept it because the more challenges the more growth you are going to have I, I really like how all of these cards are coming together because we have grieving here and we have i speak my truth so i'm gonna read this but honestly even this tells me that you need to be honest with yourself okay you need to be honest it's okay to grieve always you know accept your emotions validate your emotions and it's okay to feel sad but just know that it is going to be over, okay? And this card says, I'm an authentic person and I have the courage to speak my truth fearlessly. My voice deserves to be heard, even if some people may not agree with me, okay? And we have, I make every day count in my life. Again, your spirits are, spirit guides are trying to tell you forgive this person whoever this is okay this could be your family member or your ex-partner forgive this person because every day is important in life you cannot just grieve about someone you know or like feel sad and angry about someone forever you're just going to make your life worse you know and this card says i'm grateful for every day and i live my life to the fullest i choose to live in the moment okay live in the moment I think that's the key don't stuck on your past okay so this is your message pile warm I hope you like this reading if you did and want to say thank you you can subscribe to my channel and I really appreciate your support guys and also if you want to get a personal reading my information is in the description box okay and again this tag is on, my, is on my website and also on my Etsy store. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 2. Welcome to your reading. So let's find out what is the message from your spirit, guys, for you, okay? So what is the message from their spirit, guys, for Pile 2, please? What is their message, Pile 2? We have ten of pentacles. What is the your message, please, for pile two? We have hermit. We have six of swords. <coughs> we have nine of pentacles. And we have four swords in the reverse. And I am seeing six of pentacles here. Okay. Pile two. I feel like with these, we start your reading with ten of pentacles, okay? I feel like you... And we have hermit. I feel like I'm seeing someone here who has a family, okay? It doesn't mean that you have to be married okay you can just be like have mother and father you know um, someone who has a family but this person which is you I feel like you feel alone in this whole situation I'm seeing someone who is surrounded by people but they still feel alone okay and this doesn't mean that this family is bad but I don't think that the situation or 
this thing really makes you feel supported for some reason okay and i feel like with this hermit and the six of swords and you have nine of pentacles i feel like your spirit guys are trying to tell you it is time to move on it is time to go on a holiday it is time to spend time on your own because you have been in, surrounded by these people for such a long time okay and this could even be like maybe you are living with your friends and you know there's always people around you it's like you you don't stay alone on your own and your spirit guards are telling you with this hermit card and the six of swords just leave like go somewhere else on your own make it make a change okay make a change go somewhere else maybe next to the sea because i'm seeing this guy is kind of in the sea and really ask yourself like what do you want to do because i feel like whoever wherever you are right now i feel like they are really clouding your future like maybe um the ideas or like um I don't know I feel like you can you are you cannot really be yourself around these people if that makes sense because I am seeing you <coughs> like as you can see here let me leave this here as you can see like these guys are at the dark okay yes there is a very bright family here but they they are like at the dark okay and here after six of swords <coughs> you are shining I'm hearing like I'm hearing your your destiny is somewhere else. Okay? Let's have some more cards. And we have four of swords in the reverse. I feel like your spirit guys are trying to tell you your life is going to is not going to be stagnant if you take a break. If you take a break and just get away from these people right now. And I'm not saying these people are bad, okay? Please don't get this reading wrong. <laughs> um, they are not bad, but everyone needs their alone time. And I don't think that you are doing doing it for a long time. What is Pile 2's message, please? What is Pile 2's message? We have a Five of Swords, okay. <clears throat> what is Pile 2's message? We have a Queen of Pentacles. We have the Moon. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, guys. I feel like some of you, this is not for everyone, but some of you, you might have some type of narcissism in your family or like some type of family issues, like very um, dysfunctional, let's say, because we have Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. And I feel like for some of you, this could be related to an earth sign, but they don't have to be. But I am seeing an old female figure that kind of mix things up and that kind of make you feel a bit more lonely in this connection, like in this family, in this surrounded by people. But this person, it kind of makes you feel alone. We have three of wands. We have these two cards on the first pile as well. And I think the message is slightly similar. So if this reading resonates, you may also want to watch pile one. Okay. Um, yeah. Because we had a similar message. Six of swords and the moon. It's like you are hesitating to, to go somewhere else. You don't know where to go. But your spirit, gu spirit guys are telling you. We have three of wands and nine of pentacles. Your spirit guys are telling you, you need to go somewhere else, okay? If you are not shining, if the people around you, they are not see your light, they are not really supporting you, they are not really being, you know, um, a good friend to you, let's say. Your spirit guys are telling you, you need to leave, okay? You need to go somewhere that you can shine on your own, that you are not going to stay um under someone's you know shadow and i feel like 
someone who could be an Aries, okay, with this Emperor card. They could be an Aries. I feel like you are going to hear something from an Aries soon, okay? I don't know what you're going to hear, but I think this, this person, they can be older. I think they're going to contact you about something. Like, this is more like an uncle, father, or like an older figure, okay? So let's see. What is Pile 2's message from the Earth Spirit, guys, please? We have well-being. I mean, I think it makes sense a lot. Like, I feel like this situation, like I said, with these Ten of Pentacles and Five of Swords, I feel like you are in a toxic situation, in a dysfunctional situation. And I feel like this is probably a, about a family, and I'm seeing a feminine figure here, okay? An older. So the, your spirit guides are telling you, you need to prioritize your well-being over anything, okay? Over anything. Anyone. What is Pile 2's message, please? What is Pile 2's message from their spirit, guys? Oops, I dropped the card. <clears throat> we have a piece. Look at that. It's like we have six of swords in the moon. Your spirit guys are telling you, you are going to feel so much peace if you just go away if you go and take a break or take a holiday or even if you are feeling like you can do it even to move to another place your peace is not in your current city or current country it is somewhere else and i'm also seeing birds so they can be important for you especially if you see birds Try to um, think about what you were thinking before you see birds, white birds, okay? So what is Pile 2's message? Thank you. We have a manifestation, yeah. I feel like... I feel like... You are actually, the, your spirit guys are telling you, you actually have power to manifest things, okay? You are a manifester, you can achieve your goals, you can do a lot for yourself, but you need to take the step forward. If you stay in this situation, I feel like you kind of block your future blessings, okay? So let's see. <coughs> So I'm going to use this deck that I have created, guys, which is Self Love Journey Oracle. And you can get this deck on my website or on my um, Etsy store, which is going to be in the description box. And I only have a few left, so that's why I'm making a sale right now. So be quick, okay? It's on 50% sale right now. So what is Pile 2's message, please? What is Pile 2's message? What is their message from their spirit guides, please? What is their message? Okay, I'm like, guys, I told you, this functional family, narcissism, something is involved with your family and we have, I am more than my traumas. And it says, my true self is not defined by my traumas. And I'm willing to release everything that no longer serves me on my journey. Healing is not linear nor simple, but I can do it. Believe in yourself, okay? Everyone has traumas, trust me, but you just have to be courage enough to take a step forward. What is pile to some message from their spirit guys please we have i always prioritize myself and by the way guys you can use this affirmations daily maybe these are the things that you might be struggling and it can help you okay my peace and happiness come before anything else because i cannot pour from an empty cup
What is your message from the US Spirit Guides, please? Pile 2. I was gonna take one, but we have two, so let's take it. <coughs> let's start with these. It says, I only attract good people. I attract the energy I give off. I vibrate on a higher level, which come together with manifestation because you can't manifest anything if you are vibrating on a lower energy, okay? I vibrate on a higher level, which helps me attract only good people into my life. And we have, I am patient. And it says, I am patient with myself and I believe everything comes to me at the right time. What comes fast will not last, and what lasts will not come fast, okay? So be patient in this journey, but take a step forward. This is your message pile too from your spirit guys. I hope you like this reading. If this resonated with you, you can subscribe to my channel to say thank you, and I really appreciate your support, guys. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can find my website in the description box and you can directly book it from there. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye bye. Hello, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading. So let's find out what is the message from your spirit guides for you at this time. Okay, let's see for Pile 3. Can you please show me what is the message from their spirit guides for Pile 3? Oops. Let's take this. We have a five of ones. What is the message for pile three, please? We have nine of pentacles in the reverse. What is the message for pile three, please? We have eight of pentacles. And we have a ten of wands. For some of you guys, and we have six of swords. For some of you, you might be a new new graduated person, like from school or from uni, and maybe you're struggling to find a job, okay? That's not for everyone though, but that's how I feel from these cards. Two of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. Yeah. Okay, um, I feel like pile three with these five of ones, I feel like you may be in a situation where it's very chaotic, okay? Maybe there are too many people around you, like everyone is trying to, you know, argue, everyone is trying to um, make their way up. Well, I'm, I'm just hearing like competition, okay? I think there is too many, too much competition around you. And I feel like with these nine of pentacles in the reverse, you are feeling like um, you will you will never make it, like it will never happen because there is too much competition in the area that you are um, trying to achieve, okay? And I am seeing you're working really hard for this, okay? Because we have eight of pentacles here. Or maybe I feel like you probably have worked really hard and you're not really doing that right now because you have 10 of ones it's like you tried it and it didn't work and we have six of swords this is so weird because we had this card on all three piles today so i feel like everyone kind of needs to take a break their message like the, the for the collective obviously i'm going to check pile three specifically but i feel like for the collective most of us need to take a break and go somewhere or even move to another place okay but i feel like for pile three your messages your spirit guides are trying to tell you yes you worked really hard for it yes you you may carry a lot of burdens and everything to you know be successful and you may feel like you know your results are not coming but they are telling you you shouldn't quit okay they're just trying to tell you you are still so I feel like I'm getting very like younger energy from this pile. They are trying to tell you you are still very young and you still 
have a chance to change the situation okay because you show up as these nine of pentacles which is very like wealthy very um, independent and very happy woman okay or men but this card shows up in upside down but this doesn't mean that you don't have any potential it is just that i feel like you may be someone who is a bit um you know if there's too much competition or too many things maybe it kind of gives you anxiety or something i don't know but your spread cards are telling you it is too early to quit you know your spirit guys are trying to tell you you can't just run away <laughs> like you need to put more work because you have potential and we have eight of swords okay let's have some more cards what is pile three's message please we have the star in the reverse some of you may be trying to build something on social media or something because a star is like you know a card of fame card of um creativity and this is like upside down so this kind of made me feel like maybe you have been trying to build a channel or like something on instagram or some some type of social platform and maybe it doesn't really wor work for you at this point i don't know oops i dropped this card again give me a second please guys okay and we have page of pentacles in the reverse okay and we have eight of swords okay i feel like your spirit guys are trying to tell you that yes there is competition in your field whatever you are doing please let me know because i'm just curious <laughs> in the comments just put it there um yes the spirit guys are telling you yes there is competition in your field but it doesn't mean that you can't be successful okay and they're trying to tell you you are just self sabotage oops i didn't even take that card but it wants to come so let's take it but they're trying to tell you you're just self-sabotaging the situation you have potential and yes there is competition but you can get over this if you work harder okay and they're trying to tell you with this page of pentacles and the reverse and the eight of pentacles they're like just shut every like shut communication down okay it's like stop talking to unnecessary people stop talking to waste your time on your phone and just work like don't talk to people if it is not like urgent just put all your energy and time into this thing and we have the world in the reverse let's have one more card what is pile three's message please and we have ace of swords yeah your spirit guys are telling you i feel like you may i don't want to say you are delusional <laughs> because like i don't think that you are but they're trying to tell you like you need to accept the situation as you are okay but don't self-sabotage your, yourself okay yes there is competition yes this is not going to be hard sorry this is going to be hard but accept it as it is and try to create yourself a ruth like how can you actually be successful in this field okay and they are trying to tell you the more you um talk about the burden or the more you focus on the burden or how hard this thing is to achieve the more you are going to delay this happy ending which is the world <coughs> sorry guys because this is upside down there is there is a delay okay if you if you keep talk about or think about these burdens let's see so what is pile three's message please what is pile three's message from their spirit guides and i feel like guys you probably have a very unique personality i feel like you probably have a very unique skill what is their message please we have commitment yes and i don't think that in this case this is love but um this is more like you need to commit yourself to this situation to this work to this job or to this thing that you want to achieve okay and if you if you don't commit yourself this is not going to happen okay 
But if you commit, you have potential. That's that's the message I'm hearing. So what is Pile Three's message from their spirit guides, please? We have two. Okay, let's take it. We have a transformation and we have love. Yeah, I think you just need to um, you need to work hard to transform this situation. That's what I'm hearing. Your spirits guys are telling you, yes, you are putting a lot of work, but you need to put more if you really want to achieve this. If not, you're not going to achieve this. Okay, this is something that requires a lot of hard work. That's what they are telling me. And I'm also with these love cards, okay? They are telling you you need to be more loving toward yourself. Like especially if you do a lot of like negative self-talk, your spirit guides are telling you you need to leave that, okay? Because you're kind of you're kind of giving off a negative low vibe energy. Don't do that. So I'm going to use this deck that I have created, guys. It is called Self Love Journey Oracle. And you can find this on my Etsy store <coughs> or on my website. <coughs> Sorry, guys. And currently this is on 50% sale because I only have few left. So I'm trying to sell them. Let's see. What is Pile Three's message, please? What is Pile Three's message? We have I make every day count in my life. I am grateful for every day and live my life to the fullest. I choose to live in the moment. Okay? So especially if you feel like um I'm hearing start more practice. Sorry, um, start practicing more gratitude. Okay. What is Pile Three's message, please? We have. I always prioritize myself. My peace and happiness come before anything else because I cannot pour from an empty cup. I think we also had these cards on the second pile i might be wrong but i think we definitely had this one what is pile three's message please yes look at that it says i am enough and we have love like i said you need to put more love into yourself and you need to um, be more compassionate and be more understanding to yourself and this one says i only compete with my older version to better myself my value is not defined by others and I am enough the way I am. So you can also practice these um, self-love affirmations daily and they can help you to overcome these um, issues in your life if you are struggling. So yeah, this was your reading pile 3. I hope you like it. If you did and want to say thank you, you can subscribe to my channel for more. And also, um, if you want to make a personal reading with me, you can do that directly from my website, which you can find in the description box. Thank you for watching and I will see you on another one. Take care. Bye-bye.